Hi, I'm Paweł Spychalski and when I try to flash the multi-protocol, internal multi-protocol module of my jumper T18, I discover that the procedure of how to do it is almost a secret knowledge because don't bother looking for any kind of clues on the jumper page. It's just not existent. Uh, also, making a quick search on the internet revealed that there is really, I don't know why, very little tutorials of how to do it. Maybe because everybody assumes it's so simple and so obvious that everybody knows how to do it and then it's, well, the secret knowledge nobody talks about, although it's not really a secret. So what are we gonna do today? Today I will show you how to flash the internal multi-protocol module on your Jumper T18 or Radio Master T816S or Jumper T16 or, to be honest, uh, probably every other radio mm, equipped with OpenTX that uses the multi-protocol module. And this is how you do it. The first step is, of course, to get the proper version of the firmware. And like I said in the beginning, forget about going to the uh, Jumper or Radio Master page it makes very little sense, just go straight to the source. And the source is called downloads multi-module.org. And over there you have the firmware, latest and not only the latest versions of the firmware for multi-protocol module for basically all the flavors and all the radios out there. You only have to choose the radio, you only have to choose the stick mapping, the, the RC channel map, is it the about the order of the channels, is it the ailerons, elevator, throttle, rudder or anything you want, download this to your PC and step one is done. The step two is equally simple. All you have to do is take your radio, remove the SD card, it's not simple in case of all the radios, and copy paste, just copy paste the firmware you download, not the zip file, but the bin file, in case you got it zipped somehow, into the firmware folder on the SD card taken from your jumper T18 or jumper T16 or Radio Master TX16S. Just copy paste the bin file to the SD card. And now, and now we can go into the step three, of course, after you will put the SD card into your radio. The last step is to actually flash the radio. The procedure is exactly the same for T18, T16 and the Radio Master TX16S and it ends up at pressing the sys button, so you go into the sys menu, navigating to the SD card folder, entering the firmwares, finding the correct firmware you would like to flash. For example, I would like to flash multi T18 int open TX AATR no inf 1311136, the latest multi-protocol version for this radio. Press enter and now if you have the built-in internal multi-protocol module, you have to choose flash internal multi. If however you have the external multi-protocol module that you insert into the JR bay over here, select the internal. I have the radio with the internal multi-protocol, so just hit enter, wait and look what's happening. It's flashing. It will take a few seconds and it's almost done, done, and the whole procedure is over. This is all you really had to do to flash the T18, T16 or the Radio Master TX16S with the latest multi-protocol module because, for example, you would like to try a new features they added to the firmware. Right, simple, simple. Why this is a secret knowledge that nobody speaks about and definitely the jumper is not saying even a thing about this? I really have no idea. But like I said, that's all and until the next one. Bye bye.